Test on exponents and logarithms. Question 16. Find domain of log to the base 3 of 9 minus x square. Now here we have a couple of questions on domain and then we'll move on to the transformation questions, okay? And after that we'll do sketching of uh, logarithmic functions. So the domain of this function, whenever we say domain of logarithmic function, we're trying to say that this should not be a negative quantity or zero. Rather, this should always be greater than zero, right? So when we want to find domain of the function, then we are trying to say that 9 minus x square should be greater than zero, right? It can't be zero also. x equals at zero, you have a vertical asymptote for a log function normally, right? So that is the inequality which we need to solve. Simple as that. So as you've done it, inequalities will continue with the same process. 9 minus x square can be factored. 9 minus, it's like 3 square minus x square, correct? We want greater than 0. So this is like 3 plus x times 3 minus x. And we want that to be greater than 0. As you can see here, that we have two zeros, right? One is at minus 3, the other one is at plus 3. So we have to test our domain on either side of those two zeros. So one zero is at x equals to minus 3, the other one is at x equals to plus 3, right? So I'm making a hole here because we want something which is positive, not zero, right? So these are the places where we have zeros. These points are not in our domain, right? And these two points divide the whole domain in three regions. So this region is from minus infinity to 3, and right, minus 3. And this is from minus 3 to 3, and this is from 3 to plus infinity, correct? Now what we should do is we should take a test point in each domain to test whether the graph is positive or negative, correct? So let our test points, let me write test points as uh, beyond, on the left side of minus 3, we can take as minus 4. Between minus 3 and 3, we can take 0. And beyond 3, we can take plus 4, correct? Now our factors are, there are two factors. And these two factors, when multiplied, should give us positive for being in the right domain. So our factors are, we could write this as 3 plus x is one factor and the other factor is 3 minus x, correct? So if we test these factors, let me test these factors with respect to the given points. If I write minus 4 here, this quantity becomes negative, right? If I write plus 0 or 0, this is plus. If I write 4, it is positive. Now this factor will be negative if I write, no, this factor will be negative 4, will become positive, right? 3 minus minus 4 will give us plus 7, which is positive. And 0 when you place for x, 3 is positive, correct? And if you do plus 4, then 3 minus 4 will be a negative quantity. And when you multiply two negative and positive quantities, you get negative results, correct? But if both are positive, then you get positive results and here you get negative results. So the solution is actually that domain. Do you see that? That is our solution. So that means the domain of the function is, let's say domain of this function is equals to all this. So it is between minus 3 to plus 3, right? Which in the set form we could write as x belongs to real numbers so that x is greater than minus 3 and is less than plus 3, correct? So that is how we are going to find domain of our logarithmic function. I hope you understand. Thank you.